YouTube, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. Today, we got Dragon Ball Super Chapter 84. Man, we're moving along with these chapters, but we're going to hop into it right after this. All right, guys, we are back. Now, listen, this Dragon Ball Super Chapter is... It's kind of heating up. It's kind of heating up. Let's hop right into it. So with that being said, we had the last chapter being the fact of the matter that they found Bardock. Well, not found, but Monaito kept Bardock's scouter. And they were going over the audio message log on how uh, Bardock actually beat Gas. Once they finally get through with all of this, Goku has a faint memory of when Janae and Bardock actually sent Goku away, all right? Bardock looked pretty concerned, all right, as Goku looked at his father, you know what I mean? Getting ready to be sent off to Earth, all right? Now, with that being said, it, Goku states that he feels like he finally understands his heritage, like what Vegeta is always talking about when it comes to this pride, all right? And Vegeta is kind of upset because he's like, you know, I'm kind of mad that your dad made me realize this. But yo, your pop was never wrong, bro. Like, it's not about the sins of the past that our people went through that we're putting on our shoulders. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely not about that. It's about what you, as, as Saiyans now, have to prove for your race today you feel what i'm saying that's pretty much what it is and that's just a, a a long story short synopsis you feel what i'm saying because at the end of the day i'll put it like this well vegeta and goku well more or less vegeta it was like they, he was putting the sins of his people on his back and feeling as though like oh i gotta i gotta work on this with me and me alone nobody else can take on this 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 um mission but me but you got the case messed up, bruh. It's not about that. You feel what I mean? It's not about, you know what I mean? Oh, putting the sins on your back. It's about what you do with those sins to make everything for your future better. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you fight for. You know what I mean? And that's what Goku and Vegeta finally understand. So with that being said, Gas is flying. Remember, he was flying at breakneck speed. You know what I mean? After Weiss was hollering at him, you feel what I mean? So, um, with that being said, my man's finally came back. All right? Drop down, found y'all. You feel me? He's, you got Oil and Mackie and all of them. They like, hey, Gas is back, y'all. Gas is back. Yo, 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 big bro back. Yo, yo. Gas is back. Hey, Elac. Yo. What should we do? Move a, hey, move the shit closer, but not too close where we get debris on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta look pristine. You know what I mean? So with that being said, it's finally time, man. Y'all seen it in the title? Y'all know why I've been calling it this? You feel what I'm saying? This is what we are waiting for, and with this chapter, also shows a small hint at. Ultra Instinct and Ego Gogeta. All right. Goku and Vegeta finally get they, they words together. And they like, see, the thing you don't understand, Gas, is you got it all messed up, bro. And this, I'm not going to lie to you. This character development for Vegeta is, co is coming crazy. It's coming around crazy. Vegeta don't like Goku. He don't like fighting with him. But he also knows that their battle intellect is much smarter and faster when they work together. But... Now that they understand this pride and they understand that it's their people who they're like, yo, we like the last of our breed to really fight for this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, now that they understand that, it gives them fuel to want to fight better. You know what I mean? And fight for their... <coughs> 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 what was that? Jesus. Take me to the king. Anyway, like I said, they get this newfound pride, and now it's its limits is just gone, okay? Ultra instinct, ultra ego, right off the bat. Mackie 
decides to ask, hey, guys, um, what, what's this form they're in? Uh, what, what, what's this? So oil decides to tell him like, hey, listen, gas is in a little bit of trouble. All right. Because, um, they actually real powerful in these forums. But see, Elec still seems as though there's some way that his little brother can win. Even with Vegeta sending out Hakai. All right. In order to try and erase gas, bruh. And the fact that we've seen Vegeta have so much control over this uh, Hakai power is just beyond me. So they're fighting him tandemly, okay? Now, the only problem I have with this is I hope they don't hoe our two characters here like they've been doing for the past 14 chapters, all right? I don't need them to be hoed, okay? Now that they finally understand their pride and they understand what it's like to be Saiyans, instead of having the pride on their back and actually walk with that pride on their chest and just bear it and grin with it. There's no way they should lose here, writers. There's no way they should lose here. Like, I would definitely love for y'all to drag out a battle scene. You feel what I'm saying? Make it seem as though like gas is on going whoop something. But yeah, let's ultimately show that teamwork of ultra ego and ultra instinct, okay? that Those two forms alone should not be touched, bro. So, with that being said, like I said, he sent out Hakai, but it still seems as though gas is still strong. Why? Because Elex states that, okay, when did they achieve these forms? And Oil tells them, well, he tells Elex, like, oh, well, they achieved these forms right before you made the wish with gas. And Elex was like, well, that's perfect because gas is still the strongest in the universe. You feel what I'm saying? See, I don't think Elec understands this, though. With that being said, yes, gas is still the strongest in the universe, hence the wish being made after Goku and Vegeta obtained these powers. But what Elec is failing to understand is the requirements to these powers, okay? While, yes, Goku cannot physically attack right now, Dodging is, is very good, even though he's getting hit. He Goku can serve as distraction, whereas Vegeta is going to be the main character here, okay? He's going to be the main character to play a pivotal role with his power. Why? For the simple fact that at the end of all of this, after Gas was mopping Vegeta, Vegeta does nothing but smile. And Gas is like, what's so funny, you inferior little creature? After Goku is the one... Why do they do my man's Goku like this? Why is Goku always the one who has to redirect a blast or a beam or a death ball? Like, he's the only one that has to do it. Well, after he does that, he sees Vegeta is in trouble. But this is what sets up for the next chapter where Vegeta is supposed to take over. Because if you look closely... Goku thinks Vegeta's in trouble, but then he sees that Vegeta actually smacked the mess out of gas. And Goku says, oh, what's going on here? Even Goku is taken aback by Vegeta's new ultra ego power. Gas states, what kind of sorcery is this? And Vegeta proudly states, <laughs> damage is nothing but fuel for me. Do you realize what that means? Yes, it means I'm only getting stronger. Guys, we might actually see Vegeta take the W for the crown that he was so rightly supposed to wear since the beginning of the... Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Don't be afraid to hover and haunt that like button. Subscribe today to become part of the Soul Gang Team. Nephilim, let's get it. Tap the notification bell to know each... And every time that I'm uploading these videos, and guys, remember, to be good at the game, you got to kill with skill. And until our next nightmare, <laughs> peace, y'all.